All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep that life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Well, it just got ugly for Mr. Vince McMahon. Um, it was already bad <clears throat> as Vince uh, is being investigated. Uh, by the feds, according to reports, over allegations of you-know-what trafficking, right? Uh, I can't say the word on YouTube. YouTube, you already know how they get down. That's why we got the podcast, and we will be cooking on this. And I have a special episode coming up on this, uncut, unfiltered, on the podcast later today. So if y'all haven't, Y'all subscribe to the podcast show, patreon.com backslash ticket TV, and I will have a major uh, video on this update coming on the podcast show. But let's talk about this, though, man. As Vince McMahon, he had already been accused by this woman uh, named Janelle Grant. She came out and made some just nasty ugh, ugh, allegations against Mr. Vince McMahon. And uh, which she, you know, said some very, very, uh, you know, made some very disgusting allegations against him. And, uh, you know, it's something that's not being covered like the, uh, you know, P. Diddy trial. But we understand what's going on, right? Uh, why it's not being called out like the P. Diddy trial. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't see... You know, none of the big channels, Law and Crime, TMZ, none of them dudes doing round-the-clock coverage like we've been doing on P. Diddy. And you know, this this report just came out today, as you guys can see on your screen. Uh, but according to report, shout out to BlackSportsOnline.com, um, this man's accuser, Janelle Grant, is now claiming that she was cohorsed to declare her love for him in a love letter. Now, according to the reports, uh, and I'll just read the article. It says that Janelle Grant, uh, you know, allegedly, or no, Janelle Grant penned a love letter uh, to the ex-WWE CEO after alleging, um, you know, uh, blank fuel abuse. Uh, we won't say that word. However, she claims that she is she was cohorsed into writing this. Y'all make sure y'all share this video too. Like the video and share the video. See, look, the only way that these type of videos are going to get out is if y'all like and share the video. If y'all don't like and share the video, the video ain't going to get out. See what I'm saying? The video ain't going to get out. So I need everybody that's watching this video to hit the like button. Share the video. You understand what I'm saying? On, on Twitter, Facebook, wherever, social media, Instagram, I don't care where you share it at. Share the video. So it says, uh, however, she claims she was coerced into writing this letter. Now, according to the report, it says the plot thickens as this unexpected twist unfolds in the ongoing legal battle between Mrs. Grant and Mr. Vince McMahon. Now, it says with allegations of coercion clouding the situation, the truth behind this particular peculiar love letter remains shrouded in mystery as accusations and defenses fly back and forth. One thing is certain. This thing has more layers than a wrestling ring, but we're going to get into it. It says that Mrs. Grant insists that she was coerced into writing the letter and that it does not diminish the severity of the abuse she faced. Despite this attempt at reconciliation, Mrs. Grant's claims against Mr. McMahon remain steadfast. Now, um, let's get into this, right? Uh, we're we'll getting to this, right? Um, Janelle Grant, whose bombshell lawsuit 
landed a day before the wrestling icon abruptly stepped down as executive chairman of the WWE parent TKO Group Holdings, penned a lengthy email to McMahon dated December the 24th, 2021, in which she called him my, quote, my best friend, my love, and my everything. After almost three years together, she wrote, it like myself, uh, it like my life isn't real to me unless you're there and in it. And I'm sharing it all with you. Grant 43 wrote on Christmas Eve letter to 78 year old McMahon obtained by the post. Now the love struck letter stands in contrast to the allegations in her explosive lawsuit filed in Connecticut federal court in January, which claimed that Mr. McMahon allegedly, uh, boo-boo on her dome during a uh, trio in May of 2020, some 18 months before she wrote the alleged love letter. But Grant's attorney, Ann Callis, told the Post that Mr. McMahon actually instructed Grant to write the note. Frankly, it's pretty disgusting that Vince's weak, late attempt to defend his horrendous behavior, behavior he claims to this day that never happened, is to try to showcase letters that Vince himself coerced her to write, Callis said. His psychological torture of her continues as it is typical of abuse predators who respond to women speaking out with increased threats. While Janelle isn't a stranger to his intimidation tactics, this is a new low even for him. Asked about the coercion allegations, Mr. McMahon's attorney, Jessica Taub Rosenberg of the law firm Kazowicz Benson Torres told the Post that this is revisionist history. No one coerced Ms. Grant to write that letter. She wrote it on and of her own accord. The fact that the letter shows it was a 24th draft speaks volumes. Nowhere in her voluminous complaint that is replete with fabrications does she mention being coerced into such behavior. The language of the letter is consistent with the other communications she made to Mr. McMahon over the course of their consensual relationship Vince McMahon's lawyer added. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Mrs. Grant revealed that on December the 21st, three days before sending the letter, Grant texted Mr. McMahon that she had surgery on her pointer finger saying, I think I'm tapping out today. And the alleged text exchange obtained by the Post, which was not included in Grant's lawsuit, but alleged his genuine by a spokesperson for Grant. McMahon responded, damn it, sorry, baby, following with two hard emojis. How will I write your letter? Question mark. Grant replied in a text thread. I can type it. I can type and read it or I or try to write it in a couple of days, Grant added. I'm so sorry if you messed this up. I want you to have a nice letter. Grant's rep, who asked to remain unnamed, also said that Grant had written love letters at McMahon's request so many times that she resorted to padding them with existing material from pop culture, including a GQ interview with Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly, published two months before Grant's letter. In the GQ piece, for example, author Molly Lambert said of a celeb's relationship, the carnal component is clearly off the charts, but they can also be sweet and funny. Language that was lifted nearly word for word in Mrs. Grant's letter. Fox and MGK are in love with a capital L. The story also states yet another phrase lifted by Grant. In another passage, Grant wrote, I feel understood, accepted, loved and appreciated for who I am at my core. You see my heart, you see my soul. There are few people 
who know the secret of making a heaven here on earth, you are one of those rare people. Grant spokesperson said in the sugary sweet lines were ripped verbatim from a 1947 film, The Bishop's Wife. In her suit, Mrs. Grant, a former WWE employee who worked at the company's Sanford, Connecticut headquarters between June 2019 and March 2022, also claimed that McMahon blanketed her, trafficked her to other WWE executives and wrestlers and caused physical injuries from forceful use of blank toys that were named after male WWE stars. McMahon, who was under federal investigation by New York prosecutors over the blanksual assault and blanksual trafficking allegations, has denied Mrs. Grant's accusations claiming that their relationship was a consensual affair. Mrs. Grant's claims are false, defamatory, and entirely without merit. McMahon's attorney, Todd, also told the Post on Thursday, we intend to vigorously defend Mr. McMahon and are confident that he will be vindicated. Mrs. Grant's rambling 2,200-word email was taken from Grant's laptop as a part of an investigation on behalf of the WWE's board of white shoe law firm Simpson, Thatcher, and Barlett, and is expected to appear in court filings as the case progresses according to sources close to the situation. The love letter saga sheds light on the intricate web emotions and power struggles in such cases. Remember the healing and moving forward are vital steps for both the victim and the accused is getting wild in this particular case, right? Now, there were messages that were screenshotted allegedly and sent that have been released. There's also uh, a letter uh, that is out here and more things that are, are have been released right now to the public eye in this case. Now, I'm going to say this to everybody, right? I'll tell y'all right now. So Vince McMahon uh, is under investigation by the same people that are investigating um, P. Diddy. The New York, uh, who is an aggressive, uh, who has an aggressive, the most, they have a reputation for being the most aggressive, uh, you know, prosecutors. Um, they are pro they are investigating Vince McMahon currently. You wouldn't know it because nobody's talking about it, except for a couple cats on YouTube. Um, but as I told y'all, man, I am going to have a big, uh, I'm going to do a big reaction to this on my podcast show today, uncut, unfiltered later on today, uh, to this entire saga and situation with Vince McMahon, because I think it needs to be dug into real, real deep. Pause. Um, but, you know, like I said before, man, it's just not getting the same coverage as, you know what I'm saying, the P. Diddy trial, which is round-the-clock coverage. You know what I mean? And, I mean, Vince McMahon, you know, he got some allegations against him. Again, the same as we say for P. Diddy, Vince McMahon is innocent until proven guilty. But, you know, a lot of people have questions about, you know, the difference in coverage between these two cases. And now that this article has come out today, uh, you know, by Black Sports Online, salute to them uh, for covering this story. This woman is coming out claiming that she was coerced, coerced into writing a, a, a love letter to Vince McMahon uh, to make him look good. Vince McMahon is denying it. You know, he's saying that she's a liar and that she's cap. You know what I mean? Now, the point is, is that nobody pretty much, uh, you know, like I said before, man, it ain't no round-the-clock coverage. It's on y'all. If y'all want people to cover this stuff, y'all got to watch these videos, man. I mean, I'll be honest with y'all. If this is a P. Diddy video, it's like 12, 13, 14, 15, 2,000 people in here. I'm just being honest with y'all. If this is a P. Diddy video, it is a P. Diddy video. 
It's like 2,000, 2,500 people in here, 3,000 people in here. But you're talking about Vince McMahon. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all what's up. You talk about Vince, Vince McMahon. Now, again, you know what I mean? People are allergic to saying his name and that he's under a federal investigation in the state of New York, just like P. Diddy. That's the thing. That's the thing that's in, in common. He's under federal investigation too, but they didn't show y'all aerial footage or if he got raided or any of this stuff. They didn't show y'all any of that stuff. They didn't even talk about it, so we don't know. If it happened, and that, it, that happened under the radar because they're not talking about it. You know what I'm saying? But or, or with, with Puff, and I ain't saying Puff right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that, look, you know, they giving that dude round the clock coverage. You understand what I'm saying? When Vince McMahon is under the same type of investigation, under some of the same allegations. You know what I mean? Make it make sense. Now, his allegations, uh, you know, are slightly different, but under the same bracket of alleged trafficking. You know what I'm saying? And again, all allegations are alleged until proven guilty in a court of law. But I'm just saying, man, it's just funny to me, man. People don't got the same energy for this type of story, man. They don't. They don't got the same smoke. Y'all don't see it. I don't see TMZ running this all day. I don't see the Law and Crime Channel. The Law and Crime Channel been running the P. Diddy stuff for like four or five days now. Just like, bro, but I ain't heard nothing about Vince. Vince is under the same invest. Bro, you would not think Vince is under the same type of investigation. You would not think that. That Vince was under investigation by the feds right now. By the same New York feds that's investigating Puff. But they're not telling y'all that. You know what I'm saying? And so, again, for me, I'm just sitting up here like, damn, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, I'll be honest with you. And then, here's the thing. Though. I'm going to tell y'all what's making it. Right here. I'm going to be honest with y'all. The energy's not being the same. I'm going to tell y'all for a couple of reasons. First of all... Because we already know reason number one. I ain't got to say it. Secondly, because Vince McMahon don't have a lot of leaks around him. Like, he don't have a lot of people that's coming out volunteering information against him that were either witnesses or people that were supposed to just be around. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's big, too. I mean, Vince do not have... Because, uh, like, every time you turn around, Puff got somebody saying this or somebody saying that you don't see that with Vince it's like the person who made the allegations and that's it that's it you know what I'm saying person who made the allegations and that's it that's it you know what I'm saying that's that's all there is to it I'm just telling y'all what the truth is so you don't really see it and I'm just telling y'all I'm keeping it 100 with y'all man you know um I'm looking at it, you know, uh, differently, you know, uh, this whole situation. Um, and so I'm just telling y'all what's up, man. You said what? You said no, he, he actually does. A lot of people came out. Man, I ain't seen nobody. That's what I'm saying. I ain't seen nobody. I ain't seen nobody. I ain't seen nobody. You know, unless they keep it under wraps. I haven't seen nobody. Have y'all been seeing people? Have y'all seen how many people did you how many people did you see come out of, about Vince? Cuz I haven't seen nobody like coming out again. I'm talking about outside the accusers. I'm talking about like all these other people. You know what I mean? Oh, they've been covering it up. That's why I ain't seen it. Y'all got to send me the articles, bro. Yo, when y'all see articles like that, man, hit me on my Instagram, man. Hit me on my Instagram. My Instagram right there in the comments. Hit me on my gram. Send me the articles when y'all see them. Y'all got to send me that stuff, man. Sometimes I don't see every single thing. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, y'all gotta send me that, man. Send that stuff to me on my Instagram, man. You know what I mean? My Instagram is at Ticket TV Media. All one word. That's my Instagram. Yo, shout out to the brother Jeff for the $100 donation in the Cash App. This morning, King Cash App, man. He said, uh, good job for reporting on this ticket. Nah, it ain't no good job. It's what you supposed to do. When it come up, I'm cooking. Straight up. I'm cooking. You know what I mean? Because I am interested in this. <clears throat> because I saw something the other day. And I'm going to talk about it on my podcast show in great detail. But I saw something the other day couple of days ago and it just made me sit back and say dad dog uh, like and we grew up on Vince McMahon and them cats in the WWE WWF at first and it turned to WWE you know what I mean but you know hey man I said before man you know if you're doing wrong I mean you gotta get right playboy straight like that you said stand with McMahon <clears throat> Well, I stand with the truth, sir. I stand with the truth, brother. You understand what I'm saying? I won't want you to understand that viral basketball. I stand with the truth. And that's all there is to it, playboy. You understand? And so, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that like button, man. Like this. Hey, y'all share this video, man. Share this video. Because look. I'm telling y'all, if I do a P. Diddy video, watch. I guarantee y'all, it's going to be, and I'm going to talk about it too. It's going to be like 2,000, 1,500, 2,000 people. You do a video on Vince McMahon, eh, you know what I'm saying? Straight like that. I'm just telling y'all what the truth is. I'm telling y'all what the truth is. You know what I mean? I'm telling y'all what the real is. So, y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. Like, share, subscribe, man. I'm going to put a link to the podcast show pinned at the top of the comment section, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast show. We going in on this tonight.